नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल अ पार्लियामेंट इज सपोज टू बी द टेम्पल ऑफ आर डेमोक्रेसी लुक एट आर पार्लियामेंट एंड देन यू विल नो द स्टेट ऑफ आर डेमोक्रेसी दैट्स वॉट आई वॉन्ट टॉक टू यू अबाउट टूडे लेट्स गेट राइट टू डू दिस शो यू नो आई रिमेंबर Uh, Mr Atal Bihari Vajpayee late Mr Atal Bihari Vajpayee former prime minister of India and uh, the founder leader of Bharatiya Janata Party late Mr Atal Bihari Vajpayee had, had 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 given a speech in the parliament in fact he had written it uh, written about it also in various uh, office articles you know uh, he and Nehru had a very interesting relationship because mr atal bihari vajpayee would criticize nehru a lot in fact mr atal bihari vajpayee was the first person to tell nehru that listen mr nehru listen pandit ji you have got dual personality you are a combination of chamberlain and churchill put together that is what you are you are a dual personality i mean imagine a young mp that is atal bihari vajpayee those days telling pandit jawaharlal nehru and atal bihari vajpayee says that you know uh, evening they met for some social function and uh, pandit jawaharlal nehru walked up to him and uh, he said listen you know what you baat bahut acche karte ho yaar tum matlab you speak so well good 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 he said years later there was a photograph uh, of uh, pandit jawaharlal nehru in the south block and uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee had just become the foreign minister, and uh, he used to see that photograph right from when he was a, a young MP. He used to see that photograph, and once he became a foreign minister, obviously the party had changed. He saw that the, that photograph was out. There was no photograph of Nehru. He called the local guy there, and he said, "What happened to the photograph?" They said, "Oh, sir, oh, kya hai ki wo?" He said, "Nothing doing." He said, "Put that photograph back there." he ensured that nehru's photograph was back there in the south block you know why am i telling you all the stories because i'm telling you i'm reminiscing the the great days of indian democracy the flowering days of indian democracy and i was reminiscing the greatness of indian democracy when we called ourselves the biggest democracy in this world this is what we meant You see, if you see old films, I think Doordarshan films. I think there's still some films where they have shot uh, our Parliament House when they have shot debates. Un dino to obviously we didn't have television and uh, Rajya Sabha TV and Lok Sabha TV and all of that. You know, they was they would shoot those black and white uh, films. Just have a look at them. Just have a look at them and look at the decorum. It is not that there were no fights. It is not that there was no shouting and howling. But look at that decorum. When a senior member of the government or the opposition spoke, look at the decorum. When there was an argument that was going on, and most importantly, look at the importance that was given for an argument. And more important than that, look at the respect that they gave each other. like i said it is not that there was no uh, fights there was no howling there was no there was all of that but the fact remains that the limit was very clearly drawn it was very clearly drawn when it came to bills when it came to discussion when it came to argument and when it came to leaders and when it came to those representatives of the house people were never disrespected okay you know <clears throat> let's get some logic first right when somebody like narayan rane who such a senior uh, politician i won't say he was is a senior uh, leader i don't think he has done much in center he was always uh, more focused on state but uh, uh, a person such a such a senior leader like narayan rane acting like this just see this माननीय पंतप्रधान जी हमारे माननीय अमित शाह इनके ऊपर उंगली भी बताए ना थैंक यू तो तुम्हारी औकात में निकालूंगा क्या असली है इधर इधर निकालूंगा इसलिए ये नहीं अरे बैठ पीछे बैठ अरे बैठ पीछे बैठ ये क्या बात करते हैं अभी थैंक यू सब 
अभी कुछ नहीं बचे अभी बचे नहीं है खाली अभी जो आवा रहा है आ रहे है ना वो बिल्ली का टाइगर का आवाज नहीं है वो पंतप्रधान जी के ऊपर बोलने का कोई अधिकार नहीं है अवकात नहीं है अवकात नहीं उनकी यू नो ही इज टॉकिंग टू एम पी नो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस फ्रॉम लेट्स पुट दिस इन टू परस्पेक्टिव यू सी द जेंटलमैन दैट ही आज him to sit down the way he did and said tumhari aukat dikha dunga which means i will show you what you are worth this man technically speaking in india represents 2.5 million people now i'll tell you how i am saying assuming india is assuming kya india is 140 crore people assuming 140 crore people divided by 545 uh, mps uh, roughly it translates to something like 2.5 million people is what one mp represents in that chair 2.5 million people now if you believe in the parliament and you believe in the democracy then you have to accept the fact that he or she who is sitting there is representing the 2.5 million indians he or she is there to talk for them and talk about them and talk with their consent that's why he is sitting there he is voted there so when you are addressing him you are addressing 2.5 million people of his constituency when you say na tumhari aukat dikha dunga you are literally telling 2.5 million people of his constituency ki tumhari aukat dikha dunga that is how one should look at parliament ek aur chi i name sanjay singh i name sanjay singh जी महाभारत में एक चरित्र था जिसका नाम था दुर्योधन आज दुखद है कि दिल्ली राज्य में भी उसी चरित्र का एक उसी नकारात्मक मानसिकता का व्यक्ति इस दिल्ली के अंदर दुर्योधन के रूप में यहां पर बैठा हुआ है सर सर फर्क कितना है वो दुर्योधन लंबा चौड़ा था ये दुर्योधन थोड़ा बोना है सर दूसरा उसके पास एक शकुनी था और इस बोने दुर्योधन के पास वो बहुत भ्रष्टाचारी परिवारवादी सनातनी विरोधी ऐसे गठबंधन के लोग साथ लग गए हैं सर कॉलिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर वेरियस नेम्स कॉलिंग हिम शॉर्ट मैन यू नो वॉट एवर शॉर्ट ही और वॉट एवर यू नो इज दिस इज दिस वॉट यूर वॉट यूर डूइंग इन द पार्लियामेंट ए टेम्पल we are killing and dying for temples this is the temple of democracy would you allow somebody to abuse in a temple fight with each other in the temple what will you tell them hey mandir hai idhar karte ho ye get out and do it wouldn't you say that okay the second thing i want to talk about is uh, you know who is supposed to be the person who controls the parliament the person who controls the parliament is the speaker is the chair when the chair is seen as a little biased chair is seen as siding with somebody you no longer have the right to sit in the chair and till such time that such people sit in the chair that parliament is never going to function as a democratic parliament tell me under which rule are you raising point of order rule book first the rule under which rule The rule is on page ninety-two. Yes, which rule? The rule is two six seven. The leader of the opposition has been asking for a discussion Take on your Manipur. Seat. Take your you seat. allow the discussion on Manipur. Seat. That's my point. Honorable members, I name, I name, Mr. Jericho Pier. You may leave the house. I name you. Yes. I issue a motion. For the suspension of Mr. Derek O'Brien for the remainder of this session, for continuously and fully disturbing the proceedings of the house, for disobeying the chair. What did Derek O'Brien do? He asked for a point of order. So you suspend him. Fair enough. If the chair feels that he should be suspended, fair enough. But did was that same rule? Was that same uh, action implemented on all the people who created ruckus in that? house did that happen was narayan rane uh, suspended was narayan rane punished 
So the point that I am trying to make here is the responsibility of running a house in order is that of a speaker. And the moment, even an iota bit, when the moment the speaker is seen biased towards a particular dispensation, particular party or particular side, the house can never function like a democratic setup. There is bound to be problems. Last but not the least, <clears throat> you know who is the leader of the house? Leader of the house is the Prime Minister of India. When the Prime Minister of India doesn't feel it important, deem it important to be present in the house, then you have a problem. You have a problem. Because if you don't give importance to the parliament, then what are you expecting others to do? You are asking the Home Minister to address the parliament where answers that you are supposed to give. If you are doing that, you are saying that, listen, like press, even parliament is not very important to me. So if press is not important, if parliament is not important, then how is democracy important? How is democracy important? So my thought is that somewhere down the line, A, I think the first thing that the speaker of the house, the chair of the house should understand that he has to be unbiased if he has to practice democracy and if he has to practice good practices in the parliament house. The Prime Minister has to take the Parliament more seriously and every member should realize that the other side, the other person sitting right next to him represents 2.5 million Indians. So before you abuse him or before you, you, you wisecrack on him or before you put him down or, 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 or go condescending against him, think that you are going against 2.5 million people, a population bigger than that of Fiji Islands, a population bigger than that of Maldives, you are going against him. That's the point. Now, before I end, I want to tell you this reason why I'm doing this editorial. I have an acquaintance, a person who otherwise is very intelligent. I don't know why, but from morning, he has been sending me messages. One after another messages, he has been sending me. One after another message. Starting with, you know, he said, you know, Rahul Gandhi should not be speaking. Shashi Tharoor should have been speaking today, which is fine. That's his opinion, which is very fair. Then, you know, he was talking about how Rahul Gandhi will make a fool of himself. Then he was talking about how, what Rahul Gandhi will say. Will he be recapping Bharat Jodo? Will that be there? Then he says, now you know what, Smithy Rani is going to lash out uh, Rahul Gandhi. I want to see that. You know why I'm mentioning this? I'm mentioning this is because all of a sudden I thought uh, my parliament, the temple of my democracy was seen like an IPL match. It was like watching IPL match. Ab Dhoni aake marega. Ab Virat to, ab to six ke upar six hai. I think I, 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 I got a feeling that that's what's happening. You know, those people, those 545 people, they decide our lives. They decide our well-being. They decide our health. They decide our education. They decide that is everything so important to us. They decide our lives. Because if their decision makes us grow or makes us degrow, just those 545 people. If they decide wrong, we go down. If they decide right, we go up. Do you know how important that is? And when educated people starts watching Rajya Sabha as a Aaj holiday liya hai, to time pass karte hai. Let us watch Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha and ye dekho abhi isko gali dega. Aray kya gali diya hai. If that's how it's going to be seen, then that's how my democracy is viewed. And that hurt me more and I thought, you know, such topics don't get views. Such topics don't get views. But I thought I will, as, 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 as a responsible person, I thought I should get this in front of you. Because if this is what's going to happen in my parliament, my parliament, the temple of my democracy will change into a theater, a theater of a comedy show called the democracy. And that will be the beginning of our end. Till I see you next time. That's tomorrow. Namaskar. <laughs>